Welcome. We're down here at uh, Glen Orkey, uh, the uh, the coffee club down here, just opened. Store number 192. Yeah, well, I used to live here in Glen Orkey a long, long time ago when I was a teenager. We never had a coffee club here then. Um, so uh, it's good to see that you know, the coffee club's popped up <laughs> finally in Hobart. Yeah, magnificent. Uh, uh, we've just got our coffees here, mate. What do you got? I just usually go to the Looks quite the weak. weak. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really hot milk, but no, I like a weak, <laughs> hot latte, mate. Yeah, right, I've, uh, yeah, I've gone the double shot. Yeah, there's uh, a bit of a difference in colour, isn't there? Yeah, there is. That's uh, significantly. It depends on your palate. Well, that's it, and I'm, yeah, I'm all about the strong stuff, so I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Uh, we're down here for our camp. Yeah. How, do, how do you reckon the boys are going so far? Oh, it's, it's gone really well. I mean, we've got a great venue to train at, the Twin yeah. Overs and at Kingston. Yeah, uh, fantastic good. surface. Uh, the weather's We've been blessed with the weather, um, perfect weather really, just a little bit windy for our practice games, we've done some good work with our leadership and culture stuff as well, so, so far so good, attitude's been great, uh, I think the boys are enjoying themselves, they're enjoying Hobart, it's a really good city, yeah, yeah, um, and uh, we're looking forward to obviously training tomorrow and then another practice game on on Thursday, which will be a bit of fun. Did you get to sell a Mecca market on Saturday? I went, I went, yeah, I did. Did you buy anything? I didn't buy anything. Me, Hodgie, um, Jared Lyons, Walks, Richie, Bundy went down there. Yeah. Um, he would have been right at home there. Yeah. Sort of hippie sort of gear. <laughs> He's all into those lame ways, Bundy, so he was loving it. Yeah, he would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Hodgie was the mayor, thought he was the mayor back down in Hobart. Um, oh, everybody in Hobart. Yeah, they did, yeah. G'day, Hodgie. We just, well, we just kept walking off on <laughs> yeah. it. We didn't. We, you'll catch up to us, mate. No. Yeah. So we, um, he hadn't got us to table at some place I didn't even know existed. Hodgie just walks in and. It was like he owned the joint, to be honest. It was yeah. phenomenal. It Do was, you reckon uh, there's anyone that doesn't love Hodgie? Well, Booney loves him. Other than the blokes who play, play the against him. Well, Booney loves him, doesn't yeah. he? We saw that. Yeah. His guest speak the other day, Booney come in. Yeah, and he expressed his love, or his mother's love. His mother? <laughs> My mother loved you, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Even the umpires yesterday, when they come down to help us out, you know? Yeah, no, they did. Favourite and I, player, Hodgie. And I reckon at one stage there, he got tackled, and, and he did, he made no attempt to get to the ball. <laughs> Umpire, throws, throws it up. It's like, you can't play for anything against him. Oh, oh unbelievable. <laughs> I was going to ask you, too, and this is sort of a bit of a weird question, but Steph Martin and Marcus Adams, specimen one, specimen two. Yeah. Who, who do you think is Numero Uno? Well, <laughs> At the moment, I, I feel like they're just trying to outdo each other. <laughs> I really do. The, the amount of food they eat and how healthy it is and clean and just... Oh, they're just taking it to the next level, those two. It is absolutely phenomenal to watch. And then in the gym, they're just talking to each other, comparing each other. They won't lift around each other, though, just so they don't try and, you know, step on each other's toes. But it's quite a competition developing at the moment. And, yeah. um, all, all I know is when I'm around them, I have no desire to take my top off. No, oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, no way. We opened the floor up to some of our fans on Twitter to ask a couple of questions, and one of the questions was, what was your greatest uh, highlight or memory of 2018? Um, I've, I've already thought of mine. I thought of, I've had the cheat sheet, so I've already known yeah, mine. But yeah. in reflection, um, probably the greatest moment of 2018 for you. Yeah, I, for me, I think it was the win uh, down here against the Hawks, and there's nothing to fact that it's my old side that I that yeah. I worked for nine or ten years. It was more just as so I know how hard it is yeah, for okay. teams to win down here. Um, I think in my nine years at Hawthorne. We played 36 games at York, uh, at uh, University of Tasmania Oval. So that's, and I think, only three losses, and they were not by much. So it's incredibly hard to win down here. Yeah. And we did so that day without Harris, uh, without Charlie Cameron, and Hodgson was a, yeah, a late right. withdrawal from the game, and, and Hawks had a good side in. So um, I thought our effort that day to hang in, uh, we were behind at half time, and yeah. force, force our way in front and to win strongly yep. is um, just a great moment for our footy club I reckon that we can build on because I sort of almost feel like if you can beat Hawthorne in lots of them when they've got a good team in, yep. you can beat anyone anywhere. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's yep. probably how I feel. You got some food in, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whack that on there. Thank Coffee you very much. Cuisine. Oh, that looks magnificent, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, mine was when Ace came in and then the victory we had against Carlton that week and um, seeing Ace in the change rooms after the game and all the boys embracing him yeah. um, and his family. It wasn't just Ace. Uh, it was just, uh, yeah, I think it just shows how far our club's come certainly in the past two and a half years. 
Um, that was probably the moment for mine that stuck out the most. And, oh, let's dig in. This looks magnificent. What do we got? You want the, you're going to eat any of those chips? No, no. No, I'm not having the sandwich. I'm not eating the chips. You can have a chips, mate. I'll, I'll eat the sandwich. That's fine, mate. Oh.